Hey y'all, Aaron and Kara here. We're currently anchored in Georgetown, Exuma, and getting ready to head south, and just wanted to take a couple minutes to introduce our next video, which is of our time in the Dry Tortugas down in Florida. Yeah, the Dry Tortugas were amazing, beautiful, uh, but we didn't get all the footage we wanted because we had some camera issues, and so the footage we have doesn't really do the Dry Tortugas justice. Um, of how gorgeous of a place it is. So definitely a place worth visiting and one of our favorite places uh, we've been so far cruising. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks guys. First overnight offshore trip for us going to the Dry Tortuga. Looks like pretty shitty conditions around us, but it's not really. Not just wet. Too wet. Not too windy, but yes, wet. It's been thundering and crappy all week. But the wind looks good. The wind looks good. The sea state looks good. There's a little bit of a storm that I think is going to go past us first. And the other thing is that even if it doesn't, it's going to hit us at a broad reach or on a run. So that would be the best overall condition. Yep. We're stocked up, got the boat ready to go, and here we come dry tortugas. Finally. Land ho! Dry tortugas! Fort Jefferson. Aaron, do you have any words of wisdom? Not at the moment. We're doing six and a half knots, and we're about two miles from the harbor, and I'm ready to be there. As for me, I'm glad I'm on our boat because we just heard a whole conversation about a 53 year old lady that had a back injury and it was aggravated on the trip here. We had, you know, 20, 25 knot winds and it was pretty sporty uh, last night, but Bella was awesome and I'm glad to be one of her crew members. Nice smooth ride. While the Dry Tortugas National Park only lies 70 miles west of Key West, the only way to get here is by boat or seaplane. There's no food, water, or facilities here, so everybody that comes in needs to be self-sufficient, bringing in and packing out all of their supplies. About 100 people a day arrive via the Yankee Express, but are only in the park from 10 to 3. After 3 o'clock, the Dry Tortugas become a very different and special place that we shared with just a few. It's really cool to be up like 45 feet and watch these birds like swoop right over your head. Flapping at all, just riding the wind. Let's do it. 
love birds. Literally. The Dry Tortugas consist of seven main islands, and three of them allow visitors. Garden Key houses Fort Jefferson. Loggerhead Key is the largest island known for its nesting turtles, great snorkeling, and large lighthouse. And Bush Key is known for all the birds. What's this island called again? Bush Key. I think it should be called Bird Key. That is a lot of birds. I'm probably some. Good God, that's a lot of birds. And they just stop. It's like no bird zone. Shit ton of bird zone. They don't like rain. That's why they take the dry tortugas. Or it's raining. Fort Jefferson on Garden Key is a massive, unfinished fort from 1846. It was built to protect the world's busiest shipping lanes to the Gulf, and while these ships could easily avoid the fort itself, they could not avoid the naval fleet sitting in the deep water anchorage. According to Wikipedia, Fort Jefferson is the largest brick masonry structure in the Americas and is composed of 16 million bricks and covering 16 acres. This is the only fort I know of that has a moat. Well, that I know of, then it makes it not doubtful. Through a series of tropical storms, hurricanes, and epidemics, the fort was abandoned by the military, even though its 243 large caliber guns were never fired. It was later turned into a national monument in 1935.
After exploring Fort Jefferson for a few days, we headed over to Loggerhead Key three miles away. We helped save a flooding tender there and did a bit of snorkeling and met the only folks that live on the island, the three-month volunteers. They gave us a bunch of coconuts and taught us an easy way to open them. Very, very far away from it. Oh, six horse power. I mean, yay! <laughs> oh, there it goes. Wow, this one's full. Wait, there's no room for lime and rum. Not quite as sweet as the stuff from the store, but not bad. Little bit of lime. You put the lime in the coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. You put the rum in the coconut. And you shake it all about. I'm trying to do this thing is full. Alright guys, well thank you all for watching, and uh, if you liked what you saw, please click subscribe, we'd appreciate it. Thanks guys. I may break down and use a straw. Use a straw on this one. Take a couple minutes here to introduce our next video, which is working our